The effect you're watching right now is known as a text match cut, a popular technique used by some of the biggest YouTube creators to grab attention and keep viewers hooked. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to make this effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro. It's going to be quick, simple, and fun. Let's get started. First, we need some screenshots from articles. Head over to Google, type the keyword you want to feature. In my case, I'm using Elon Musk. Then go to the Google News tab. Open a few articles that mention your keyword and take screenshots of each. You can do this with any word or name you want to highlight in your video. Once that's done, open Premiere Pro, create a new project, and set your sequence to 3000 by 2000 pixels. Import your screenshots into the timeline and trim each one down to just four frames. This quick change between images creates that fast-paced match cut look. To keep things aligned, go to the view menu, turn on the ruler, and drag guides to make a box around your keyword. Mine is Elon Musk. Zoom in and adjust each screenshot so the word fits neatly inside the guides. Repeat this for every image so the word stays in the same spot throughout the sequence. Now let's add a background. You can keep it plain or choose a textured one from Google for extra style. I'm adding a white color mat below the images. Go to the new item button, select color mat, pick white, and place it below the images in the timeline. To stay organized, select all your layers, right click, and choose Nest. Next, create an adjustment layer above the nested sequence. Draw a mask around your keyword with the pen tool, invert the mask, and set the feather between 250 and 280 to soften the edges. Apply Gaussian Blur with a value around 30 and enable repeat edge pixels to avoid unwanted lines. For a cinematic feel, open the Lumetri Color Panel. If you don't know, go to the Window menu at top and click on the Lumetri Color. In Lumetri Color Panel, go to Vignette and set the amount to minus 2 darkening the corners so attention stays on the center. Before we jump into creating the highlight effect, let me quickly share something about Envato Elements. It provides an extensive collection of high quality templates and video assets for every major editing software. With just one subscription, you'll unlock unlimited downloads of templates, ranging from transitions and openers to promos, titles, and much more. Envato Elements also provides a wide range of software for selecting templates. You'll also gain access to stock footage, music, sound effects, graphics, and other creative resources. Just download the template you like, drag and drop it into your project, and you're good to go. Save your time, effort, and money. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to start your seven day free trial of Envato Elements today. For the highlight effect, grab the rectangle tool and draw over your keyword. Change the fill color to yellow, or any color you prefer, and set the blending mode to darken. Animate the highlight by setting a path keyframe at the end of the clip, then moving to the first frame and dragging the highlight off screen so it appears to sweep across the text. For a more organic look, add roughen edges and set the border to about 12. Once that's done, nest the sequence again, apply the basic 3D effect, and animate the swivel and tilt settings for some movement. You can also adjust position and scale for extra dynamics. Finally, to make the effect pop, add sound effects. Look for camera shutter sounds and line them up with each image change. This gives the effect more punch and a professional touch. And there you have it, a clean, dynamic text match cut with a highlight effect, all done in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.